Well, it's the morning after the night before. We all got here, we got settled in, and I've got to say, things have kicked off absolutely big style. So let's go around and see Clive now, because I think he's got a bit of a story to tell. Morning, Sam. Morning, mate. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, had a bit of a result last night. Uh, made the result last night, I think, don't you? Yeah, fuck him. I'll man. tell you what, I'll put the kettle on, I'll tell you all about it. Excellent. All right, mate. Yeah, park yourself. Let's have here. a cup of tea. Nice. Well, apparently it went down to minus five, believe it or not. Yeah, I can believe that at all. I'll tell you, this is when I got them two pegs. Yeah. I needed them. It was very cold. Yeah. It's coldest night I've had this year fishing. Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. Yeah. So, uh, which was a special ride, though, mate? This little beauty here last night. Right. Yeah, half past five, I think it was. Yeah. Half past five, something like that. Yeah, it was. Totally right. unexpected, I've got to tell you. You know, we came here for carp, and I know I said I'd like to catch this version, but it, it just roared off. I picked it up, and I thought for a couple of minutes, yeah. I've got a world record carp on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I never felt nothing like it in my life, John, and I tell you, it was just unbelievable. And after a couple of minutes, I started to think, nah, surely not. I can't, I know I said I'd like to catch one, but... Definitely, mate, yeah. I thought, no, nah, I can't be that lucky, surely. And then I got a glimpse of it down here in the margin, and I thought, that's a very peculiar looking mirror. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we said to the boys, they said he's got something really special on here, and one of the guys, uh, he said, oh, it's one of the 40s, and, you know. Yeah. At the end of the day, you said you wanted a sturgeon, it's mad, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I'm happy you know? to catch one. Yeah. But I've got to tell you, I wouldn't want to catch one at night on your own. No. Because dealing with it was a right mess. We didn't know how to net it. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, well, what, how are we going to get it in a net? Yeah, I mean, what sort of length are them things then? It must have been five foot long, I should think. Yeah. Well, it was 47 pound, wasn't it? So, yeah. But, you know, I'm over the moon with it. Yeah, you know? that's fucker. Top, yeah. top bit of anger, yeah. I think, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then to stop it all, before we get up there, he goes there. Yeah, he went and had one, didn't he? So, we both wanted to catch one, we both had one. Yeah. Let's hope Gibbo gets one at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> On his own. On yeah. his own. Yeah. And we won't help him. Yeah. <laughs> a little bird tells me, though, that's not the only thought you've had, is it, in the last week? Uh, no. No. I went fishing at home last week. Right. Um, Savo. I'm on the, on the syndicate of Savo. Been on it for about ten seasons as a, as a syndicate member. Right. Fished it for about 14 years. Four years I fished it on a day ticket, which is really hard fishing. Um, and I caught a 43 four last week. Oh. Which speaks my English personal best by three pounds and four ounces. Yeah, because you had one a few years ago though, didn't you? Uh, a nice 40. I had a 40 pound exactly in 1988. Right. So it was 15 years. And when I caught that in 88... There wasn't any 40s hardly, was there? Well, there weren't many, no, but... I, I did think at the time, how am I ever going to better this? Yeah, sure, yeah. I thought this is all downhill now. And obviously since that time there's been 40s have grown everywhere. I've known there's been 40s in Savoy for quite some time, but to be fair, I've struggled on Savoy for the last yeah. couple of seasons. It's been very yeah. hard fishing, and I particularly have, I've struggled for some reason, yeah. but... It's not the easiest water in the world, though, is it, to oh, be no. fair? No, it's not the yeah. easiest water in the but world. But that is a pucker know. result, that is, mate. Oh, yeah. An amazing fish, because, like, a huge fish, and we do think, we're not certain yet, because I haven't actually seen any photos yet, that uh, it's one of the originals. So oh, it, mate, so that, what's that, 40, 50-year-old? That or? makes it older than me. Does it? No, it can't be that Wait, old. <laughs> No, I made it, we think, about 50 years yeah, old, so, yeah. and it was in perfect condition. Nice one. And uh, I was over the moon with that. So to do that, and then to come here and do that last night. Yeah, which is another goal. And today's Sunday, so who knows what the rest of the week might bring. Yeah, nice. There's a 40 pound cat in here. Is there? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> mate. You never know your luck. Brilliant. So what sort of gear are you using there, mate? Are you sort of, you know, have you dramatically changed from what you use at home, or...? The only thing that's different that you see here than what I used last week at Savé are the rods. Right. So why have you changed the rods? Uh, the rods I use at Savé are casting rods, because there's a lot of casting to be done at right. Savé. And th these are softer rods. And I, I, I know I've never been here before, but Gibbo told me how big it was, and sure. this, that, and the other, and I thought, well, I don't need any Savé rods. Yeah. But everything else you see yeah. is what I use at home. Right. There's something that got Asher, because it's like sort of intriguing the life out of me. Them hangers, there's got to be a story behind them. Um, yeah. Story is I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I take the glasses off at night particularly. Right. And uh, I can't see very well. Yeah. Can't sleep in them, obviously. I used to use normal um, indicators with little isotopes. Yeah. I went into a tackle shop one day and the showed me them, them isotopes that he had. So I, I bought them off him. And I basically put them in the... Uh, Adapted a solar baiting needle. Yeah. But that's basically it. Excellent. And man. for me, I, they're one of them little things, Jono, that if you had all your gear stolen, yeah. 
they would be the things that I would, that you would, miss, the most. I would miss the most. Yeah. You know, oh, okay, you could probably replace them, but I would miss them because they're little personal items of mine. You know? Sure. Yeah. So what what line are you using? Fifteen pound Berkeley. It's Berkeley, yeah. Yeah. It's like right, excellent. Yeah. You know, for me, that you could land a shark on it. Yeah. I really did. I thought shark. I Strange creatures, though. Yeah. Right? Excellent. Hey, hey. Wait, wait. Hello, mate. That could be the old sturgeon rod. Away, it mate. is. Look, it's a sturgeon rod. Yeah. No, nah, just a line bite, I think. Excellent. All right, mate. Well, obviously, you need to crack on with your fishing. I'm just going to drink my tea and I'm going to let you get on with it. Right, I do, Yeah. Good luck, then, mate. Thanks very much. Yeah, excellent.